Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here, and tonight I'm going to be giving you a guide on some of the notable pets from the flying family. Now, this is largely based off of an article from Wowhead, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below, but uh, this is also just some things that they didn't have, and a little bit of my own personal preference. So, my favorite, favorite flying pet of all time is this little guy right here, the Northern Hawk Owl. And I named mine Pigwidgeon. And he's a beast. He is absolutely a PvP god with the Call Darkness Nocturnal Strike combo. He, I don't actually like the Power Power breed, even though it does hit harder. I like this guy because even when he falls below 50% health, he will be able to outspeed the Tarot Claw Hatchling. I hate the Tarot Claw Hatchling so deeply. And, uh... I hate playing against it, and this guy just absolutely smokes him. So, if you're running into a lot of Tarot Claws in PvP, bring this guy, and you will end his life. Now, Icky is a really powerful pet when it comes to PvE. He's got Black Claws and Flock, which is the same as like the Zandalari Ankle Biter, who has Black Claws and Hunty Party. Um, but this is just the bird version of that. It's less effective in PvP because very few people are going to let you do a Black Claws and uh, Stampede or Flock on them. You know, you throw Black Claws on anybody and they'll usually switch that pet out. So, yeah, there's that. But really, really solid pet. Um, definitely recommend picking him up. You can buy him for like 500 gold on the auction house or even less sometimes. Or just go out to Spires of Iraq. Um, the next pet I want to talk about is the Sentinel's Companion. Now, this guy was not on the list from Wowhead, but he is one of my personal favorites because he is a flying type with a ton of magic moves. So, he's a flying type who's really strong versus other flying types. He's got uh, Dark Talons here, which hits really hard versus flying. And then he also has Soul Rush, which is a really, really hard hitting attack uh, for f almost 500 damage. So he's, he's a really solid pet, and you could run that with Moonfire to increase the damage from these two, or you can run Ethereal uh, to give you a dodge that goes first every round and is pretty solid. So that's that first group. The second group of pets, or flying types here, is any moth type. Now, I like the Power Power Moths just because Call Lightning um, and Slicing Winds pair really well together especially versus beast type pets and it's sort of a double counter the, the actual double counter is the axe beak but i think moths are fantastic i like power power breeds and i also like health health breeds just because the longer you can stay above 50 percent health means the longer you're going to have the priority move and you'll be able to do a lot of extra damage with these like three turn moves now the next one here is the axe beak the mechanical axe beak now it's a flying type with awesome really hard hitting mechanical moves so this is the actual double counter to beast types and just a really cheap pet to pick up on the auction house and definitely somebody who you want to add to your collection and i can't talk about flying types without mentioning the tarot claw uh he dominates in all pvp this is what he runs right here your dodge alpha strike and nature's ward he is one of the only flying types to have dodge but he's also the only flying type uh, that has a hot. So this just makes him last for absolutely forever unless you have somebody who can take him out really, really quickly, like a faster, heavier hitting pet. That's why I use the Northern Hawk Owl is to beat this guy. But if you don't have a team that directly counters him, he'll just last forever and he'll kill everybody. So. I absolutely hate him. Now, a couple other honorable mentions that I wanted to talk about is the Dragonbone Hatchlings. These guys are found out in uh, Dragon Blight around the temple, the Dragon Shrine, whatever that place is called. I can't think of it right now. But they're just really, really tanky birds. If you get the HH breed, it has 1,800 health and a really solid amount of attack at 260. Um, and they can just last for a really, really long time. Most HH birds do not have that much health so these are like the tanks of the bird family um, and then yeah the eaglet the golden eaglet here is another one of the harder hitting pets in the game 
where it's got a really inflated power value. Um, and then you have your all you tropical birds that do rain dance nocturnal strike, which is a good combo, but I don't use those very often. So that'll do it for my flying types, my notable pets from the flying type family. If there's any pets you think I should have added on this list, please let me know in the description below. It was a pleasure gaming with you. Have a great night. And if you found this helpful, please throw a like my way. It really helps out my channel. Anyway, take care.